We're back again to look at another object with an odd name, and this time it's the picturesque Sombrero Galaxy. You can decide for yourself if it really does look like a sombrero, as claimed. I suspect many of you will say not, but either way, you can't deny that this thing is absolutely gorgeous. The Sombrero Galaxy is actually a spiral galaxy just like our own Milky Way is. But rather than looking at it face on and seeing the spiral structure in its full glory, from our perspective, we see it almost exactly edge on, hence the shape and structure we see here. The entire galaxy has a mass of about 8 billion solar masses, and it stretches around 50,000 light years across, which is actually only about three tenths the size of the Milky Way. It lives near the Virgo cluster of galaxies on the sky, about 28 million light years from us. This is far enough for the galaxy to be carried away from us by the expanding universe. And Sombrero is moving away from us at about a thousand kilometers per second. You can apparently see it with a small telescope, but not with the naked eye. And I believe this because I've seen a load of amazing images of this galaxy from amazing amateur astronomers. The standout feature of the Sombrero galaxy is the thick gas and dust lane that encircles the entire thing. Well, I say thick because it does a very good job blocking lots of the light from the rest of the galaxy and giving the galaxy its spiral structure. But I actually think that in lots of these images, the dust lane looks relatively thin and delicate. And I think that's one of the reasons so many people love how this galaxy looks. It's so beautiful that we actually have a massive picture of it hanging in the building that I work in. So you know that even professional cosmologists and astrophysicists still think this galaxy is cool. I also love the fact that you can see so much of the dust lane even on the far side of the galaxy, despite the bright bulge at the center doing its best to wash it out with its light. This very bright round bulge in the center of the galaxy is full of stars that give the bright white glow. This image here from the Hubble Space Telescope is actually so detailed that around the bright bulge, we can see almost a second disc of some of the spirals of the galactic structure. We can also see a whole load of globular clusters of stars around the galaxy. And these seem to be between about 10 and 13 billion years old, which is about the same age as similar star clusters in the Milky Way. In addition to the stars at the center, we think that as with most galaxies, there's a supermassive black hole. This black hole has a mass about a billion times the mass of our sun, and this is actually the closest billion mass black hole to the Earth. I think it's pretty cool that even though the galaxy is so much smaller than the Milky Way, its central black hole is way bigger than the Milky Way's. The mass of the Sombrero black hole is estimated from both the orbital speeds of stars in the center of the galaxy, and also from X-ray data of matter falling into the black hole. This gives us a nice transition to look at the Sombrero galaxy using different wavelengths of light other than visible. In the infrared, we can see the dust ring glow nicely, and we can see even more detail in it. And we can also see more detail of the beautiful bulge in the center of this gorgeous image from the Spitzer Space Telescope. There's even a little bit of warping of the disk, suggesting that Sombrero merged with another galaxy long ago, but it seems to have eaten all the remnants of that galaxy now. While the dust blocks the visible light from the bulge, the IR light makes it through, and we can see much more from the center. It looks completely different in the infrared image. Next up, in this X-ray image from the Chandra Space Telescope, the dust pretty much disappears and we see a whole series of bright X-ray sources in and around the Sombrero. Most of these are stars inside the galaxy, but some of the sources are also quasars in the distant background. The hot gas in the bulge now starts to look more like an elliptical galaxy instead of a beautiful spiral one. This diffuse X-ray emission extends over 60,000 light years from the center of the galaxy, which is bigger than the galaxy itself. We think this emission extends so far due to strong galactic winds being primarily driven by supernovae that have exploded in both the disk and the bulge. Combining all of these images using visible, infrared, and X-ray, we get this absolutely gorgeous and pretty complete view of the Sombrero galaxy. Sombrero is also the first object that we've looked at on this channel that's part of the famous Messier catalogue of space objects. This is a list of objects first published all the way back in 1774 by a French astronomer and comet hunter called Charles Messier. He was actually making a list of all the things he saw on the sky that annoyed him because they weren't comets and he wanted to make sure everyone knew that they were not comets. He called his list the Catalogue of Nebulae in Stars because back then we didn't know anything existed outside our own galaxy. But there are actually quite a few other galaxies in his list. In fact, for a while, it was believed that Sombrero was just a single star surrounded by some dust lanes. 
but the discovery of how fast it's moving away from us tells us that it has to be outside our galaxy. Since it's outside the galaxy, it's then too bright to be a single star. If it did happen to be a star in our galaxy, moving at a thousand kilometers a second would quickly take it outside of the galaxy. Sombrero is now known as M104 because it's the 104th object in the list, but it was actually only added to the list in 1921. Messier himself wrote a list of 103 objects, but in 1921, someone found some handwritten notes by Messier talking about Sombrero, and so it was decided to add it to his list. This has happened for a few other objects as well since then, and the complete and final Messier catalogue has 110 objects. To add another twist, apparently Sombrero was actually originally discovered by Messier's colleague Pierre Machin in 1781. I also can't find any record of whether Messier himself referred to the galaxy as looking like a sombrero, but I like to think he did. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this look at the strange sombrero galaxy. Leave a suggestion down below if you know any cool objects with interesting names, and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye! The mass of the sombrero black hole is estimated from both the orbital speeds of... <laughs>